Hello, this is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from New Delhi with a very special person today. We have with us the team Embraer, which is uh, you know projecting and showcasing its defense uh, business in India. They have a new baby in town, and uh, we know it as the C three ninety, already you know jumping and ready to go. And we have here with us Frederico Lemos. He has friends, let me tell you, a very long mouthful name. Welcome, Frederico, Thank to you. ADU's chat room. And Thank first you. things first, just give us your full name. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much, Anita. Um, my name is Frederico Antonio Sima Dias Vedo Lemos. <laughs> I'm very pleased to be here with, with you. I'm representing Embraer, I'm the Chief Commercial Officer, and uh, very humbled to be having this discussion with you. It's wonderful. You know, it's really nice, Frederico, to uh, have this discussion because we in India, are on, you know, we are on the go to buying and there is an RFI which you have responded to. So where do you stand? Where do you, how do you feel you stand in front of the high and mighties who have also responded? Yeah, well, we, we feel very comfortable. Uh, maybe we're not the, the height and mighty, but we have the best solution for India. This is what we believe. The C390 is a unbeatable combination of capability, productivity, reliability, and we want to bring the best value for India, not only on the platform, but on the value that we'll generate for the industry and local, localization effort over here in India. Right, and uh, you know, multitasking is today's mantra. So, your aircraft, how does it multitask? Well, from the onset, all the airplanes that leave the production line, they have a multi-mission capability. So, they can do logistics, airdrop, uh, cargo, aerial refueling, uh, search and rescue, special missions, uh, medical evacuation. So, it's a full range of capabilities and all the, the aircraft have that capability. That brings a lot of value for the operators because it brings flexibility. You, you can do one mission in the morning and a different mission in, in the evening. So more value, the same platform, same platform making more missions on behalf of the operators. Right, and uh, you know, just to keep it in mind that when we have such a huge aircraft and we have such huge responsibilities towards the client, which is an Air Force, in a region which is volatile, what is different we will get from the already existing fleet? Well, definitely more capability uh, on the platform, a platform that projects the Indian Air Force into the future. It's a 20, 21st century developed platform with the most stringent military requirements, which with a, a double certification, civil and military, so full fly-by-wire aircraft making the operation of the airplane much easier, enabling the pilots to focus on the mission. It is able to operate in contested environments with a full self-protection system. So we believe that its flexibility and capability will enhance the capabilities of the and operations of the Indian Air Force well into the future. And uh, uh, as part of the RFI, I'm sure all that the Indian government requires is available. Is there something which is not there and you would like to add to the already existing fleets you have? You have them in four countries, if I'm not wrong. And uh, in that case, is there something special required by the Indian government which you would like to add into what you plan to give to India? Well, based on the information that we have, we see a full adherence of our capabilities with Indian requirements. So we are confident that the solution that we have now is able to meet the requirements. We are still in the uh, early stages of this process and we look forward to the next stage, but we are very confident in the current platform that we have. Right. And uh, suppose, presuming you get the contract, normally what time does it take from signing the contract to the first delivery? We, we are very flexible on, on delivery. We need to hear the requirements, but we have seen deliveries as early as 18 months from a contract. So we, we need to understand how urgently does the Indian Air Force is, uh, needs the airplanes to start its operations and to enhance its capa cap capability. 
and uh, you already have an existing supply chain in India. For this particular aircraft, what would you like to add? Do you think a lot is required to add on the Indian supply chain front? Definitely, we want to expand that uh, supply base in India. We're having a lot of discussions with different industry uh, potential partners in India to meet the requirements of India, to bring more value to India, not only on the supply chain, but also in terms of technology. What we can do together now and into the future to develop technology together to retain that knowledge and value in India. And what about the MRO facilities which you plan in case you get the contract and you will need some basic MRO here. The aircraft cannot go to Brazil every time. So is there something which is there already existing here? Uh, what would you like to expand on? No, we, we have some maintenance centers here focused on executive aviation. So Embraer has defense, has executive, has commercial aviation. And on the executive, we already have capability here. On the defense side, we have capability in Brazil, but also in other locations around the world. And definitely, we need to understand from the Indian Air Force which capability do they want to keep indigenously, and we are able to transfer that capability, or sharing it with the local industry. For such a relevant program, we see that definitely we will need to develop the local capability to retain the value and to be closer to the Indian Air Force operations. Right, and uh, just keeping in mind the fact that we've just had a very successful BRICS and our Prime Minister is back, so is your leader back. Now, uh, what, how would BRICS affect this sort of a partnership? I think that the focus in, is in the India and Brazil uh, relationships that are very good. Uh, and we, we would like to build on that to further strengthen the ties between the two countries and the MTA program and the C39 can be a good lever to that purpose on the defense domain. Thank you so much. It was lovely speaking it, uh, with you, Frederico, and we really feel and hope that the baby which is just out and ready and kicking also gets to become a part of the fleet we have here. Thank you very much. Thank you.